Look, Duvall can make things interesting. Uh, strong jab, strong f foundation, great footwork, fights well off the back foot. We know that the jab, the jab can disrupt the timing of a counter punch. Canelo likes to use the high guard, walk guys down. You know, he's, he's slow with it, you know, consistent, steady with his approach. He looks to wear guys out, you know, physically, one with his presence, another with, with just blocking a lot of their punches, letting them gas out a bit, letting them move, and then he looks for the kill shot later in the fight. I'm noticing a pattern with Canelo doing that. Um, and then when he does counter punch, it's vicious, vicious. So he takes a lot out of you that way as well. Defensively, allowing you to punch on him, you know, blocking shots, and then, then he's hitting you at the same time. So um, I think it's going to be a very critical fight. Look, this is this is the thing. Canelo can be, for me, I think he can be outboxed. I really do. I, I think there's still a weakness there. Billy Joe's doing pretty good up until he ran into Yeah, the but, but see, but look, but look, but look, look. Billy Joe, I'm not. Billy too. Joe wasn't doing nothing. Billy Joe wasn't doing nothing but just, just yeah, trying to find a way to hide. Oh, he wasn't doing nothing. He was going to get stopped. I knew that was coming. Yeah. This guy's a lot stronger at, at 68 pounds or 175 pounds. He's a lot stronger than the Billy Joe Saunders. He punches harder than the Billy Joe Saunders. You know, he has a right hand, great boxer, great footwork. He can get in and out on Canelo, you know, and he can punch. The only problem is he got to stay off the ropes. That's the only problem. If I'm training this dude, I'm saying, dude, if you don't keep this fight in the center of the ring, you're going to lose the fight.